So you have corrosive burns from the free hydrogen ions, uh, chemical burns from tissue penetration of the fluoride ion. The fluoride ions penetrate and form insoluble salts with calcium and magnesium in your body. Uh, the soluble salts are also formed with other cations, but they disassociate very quickly. So you can get a lot of tissue damage, and like I mentioned, you can get damage to your bones as well. And like we mentioned, HF very easily penetrates the skin and then into the bone so you can get cell damage. How serious is the exposure going to be? Well, that really depends upon the amount, root, and length of the exposure. Also, the victim's age as well as the, the victim's you know, pre-existing medical condition. That has a big impact. Now, if you breathe HF acid, that can damage lung tissue and cause swelling and fluid accumulation in the lungs. Skin contact may cause severe burns that develop after several hours, and you can actually have skin ulcers. And like I mentioned, HF acid has an affinity for the calcium in your bones. So you can get HF acid on your skin, and it'll actually, it can go through your skin to your bones and seek the calcium in your, in your bones. Thank you.